In the meantime, let's go to the Australian's Washington correspondent, Adam Crichton. Adam, so back to this VP debate today. How much of a shadow do you think today's events out of the Middle East will cast over this debate? Yeah, well, look, certainly the issues will certainly come up in the debate. I mean, um, I said Tim Walls is going to accuse uh, J.D. Vance of being too protective of Israel and then vice versa, of course. So, so I'm um, definitely going to be an issue. Uh, but look, I don't know how much difference the war is going to make. I think, I think people's views are, you know, pretty mm. set in stone by this point in the debate. So, so I think it'll be more a you know, tick for tack as to who's actually going to win tactically kind of on the night. Yeah, look, usually... Um... No one really cares about a VP debate. All I remember from the last one is that fly that was on Mike Pence's head. That's true. Uh, <laughs> so, so, I mean, but this sounds a little different, though. Like, why do you think there's so much interest in today's one? Well, look, this is the last official uh, performance, if you like, of the presidential campaign, unless there's a change of heart uh, from the presidential candidates. So this is the last event. The race is so close. I mean, whether you look at the betting markets or whether you look at the official mm. polls... Uh, this is the closest uh, presidential race probably in decades at this point. And so even if uh, one of the candidates this evening uh, can, you know, can gain the advantage, then that, then that could help one of the campaigns or the other. So, so I think that's why it's so important. It's going to be an interesting contest. You've got a 60-year-old versus a 40-year-old. You know, that's, that's quite an age difference. I mean, if I was betting, I'd probably put my money on Vance, actually. Mm. Uh, but, look, we just we have to wait and see. Well, I mean, look, J.D. Vance, is, he hasn't had an easy ride. I mean, there, there has been gaff upon gaff since, you know, since he got the nod to be the VP. So does that place extra pressure on him to perform today? Well, look, people say gaff upon gaff, but I mean, I would say that's that's the biased uh, you know, media of the US. I mean, I think he's actually performed pretty well since he was selected as vice presidential yeah. candidate. He's extremely smart. He's very good at arguing. And, you know, I'm not saying he's great or not, but I think he's going to get the better of Tim Waltz. I mean, he's a Yale-educated lawyer. He's, a, of course, a famous novelist. I mean, I think if I was Tim Waltz, I'd be pretty nervous tonight. Uh, so I really think it's Vance's to lose. OK. Well, I mean, I guess, I guess, I mean, there's the cat lady, uh, childless cat lady reference that has come back to haunt him <laughs> yes. in a way. Uh, I know that Taylor Swift has seized on that with her followers and, and, you know, that may or may not make a difference. But, you know, what do you expect from Tim Walls today? I mean, you know, he's, he's kind of playing up the, the, the footy coach, regular Joe kind of thing. I mean, can that work? Well, look, the bad thing for Tim Walls is just in recent days, the uh, House of Representatives have launched an investigation into his connections to China. That's certainly going to come up in the debate as well, I can guarantee you. And it's also come out that he lied about being in China in 1989. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's that's been conceded by left-wing media even. So that's also going to come up tonight. So, I mean, if I was Tim Walls, like I say, I'd be, you know, I'd be pretty nervous about what's mm. happening in the next few hours. All right, Adam Crichton, uh, he'll be watching that and reporting on it too. Thanks for your time, Adam. We'll talk to you soon and uh, you can all take part in that today folks by watching it and it'll be here on Sky. We'll be simulcasting the CBS debate. It'll be live from New York 11 o'clock this morning so a little over two hours from now.